M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXB, let's have a go at downloading JS8 Call by KN4CRD, which is similar to like FT8, but you can type your keyboard and talk to each other using your keyboard. So I've not used it, so here we go. So I have made sure I've got the latest driver for my ICOM 7 300. So I'll put a link in for that. There is the 1.3 version I've downloaded. Uh, there's the JS8 core and if you click download here, you get to this page and then scroll for the system you use. So I've got Windows 10, so I've just run that XE and run it as an administrator. All right, so let's go to the the file that we've got running somewhere. Let's just Let's click it from scratch, like so, and then I go show in folder, and then I right click, and I click run as administrator, get the window, click yes, and I just run through, there you go, and I go next to all this, let it create shortcuts, and then run JS8 core, so it should appear, and then we're going to try and set it up. So we've got some, um, let's move this over. We've got the window of it coming in already, because, let's see if I can get it any bigger, no, it won't go bigger than that at the moment. Probably have to okay that a minute. All right, let's get our details in there, and it's asking for that, so let's go get my call sign in there. M zero F X B. Um, locator mine is I O eighty one M I. Got that in there. I think that's it, isn't it? Station info. Oh, I've just put G five R V. We'll okay that. So now to reopen that window, if we wanted to, we just go up here, settings or push F2, it says. So radio, we've got a, so I'm slow at this because my, my brain is thinking it through. So rig options, I think we want cat. Let's, well, we'll do the audio options first, which is the same as what you would do with FT8 when you choose the codec. Uh, they are the two codecs, so output speaker USB audio codec, input microphone codec. Now, notification sound card, now, that's a funny one because I'm not sure which one to pick. So we'll, what we'll do, we might have to try it with a couple of different choices. got speaker USB audio codec. At the moment, I want to hear what's going on on my computer, so I'm just going to leave that. Go back to radio, choose ICOM 7300. And then in previous things that I've seen, you just leave it ticked. I want, I want cat, don't I? I don't want box. Just tick the ones on the left for now. Cat control. Now, I had a look. We're in port. Four. Now we can go to device manager. Device manager. Just double check that. Ooh. Click the wrong one. Device manager. Port. So there you are. Port four. Silicon Labs CP210 USB to UART bridge com four. So we're going to click on for board rate. Now I'm pretty sure that my radio at the moment is set to 11520 because I've been using um, the ICOM RSBA1 software, but not right now. So da, 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 click OK. I did hit. Now the radio did click then. And the radio is in USB data mode. So, 
Let's get a full screen here. So we've got quite a big waterfall here. Right, so we'll, we'll lower the waterfall by just dragging that down. Let that populate. We'll select the frequency by, see the frequency on the top left? You just hit that and then hit the one you want. Right, so the idea is that you, I can hear some noises coming through there, and we will get some video of the radio as well. I just want to get it working, and then we'll, we'll use it properly. So, the idea is you've got incoming messages here in this yellow part, and I can type things here, and I can hit send. Now, when I did that on my other laptop, it went into error. Now you've got this slider here. I'm guessing that's to keep the ALC down when you transmit. So we'll, we'll have a go at that as well. Can't see like a, seat, like a tune button. Ah, here it is there. Let's hit tune. I'm just going to check the radios on low power. Yeah. There you are. Well, I'm just, just tuning it a bit. Right, okay, we're on low power. So let's just type a message here. Um, I'll just put C, Q, C, Q, C, Q, M, 0, F, X, B. All right, and we'll just send that. So where's the send button? Here's the send here. And if it goes into error, right, I can hear it sending. Right, I'm quite happy with that. So what I've got to do now is um, get the radio in view. So I'm going to get the radio rigged up, put it on camera. Recording. So just going to show you the settings for on the ICOM 7300. So obviously they, they can change with different radios, but go to this. I'll put these links in the description and just scroll down. And, um, you know, for Windows 10, now I definitely say download the latest driver for the USB, which a lot of us have got the 1.20, but you want the 1.30 really. So download that, for, disconnect, you know, uninstall the old driver if I was you, and then um, disconnect everything, disconnect the radio, download the driver, and then you can reconnect it. Um, so back to the instructions. So that on your device manager, if it's working correctly, and you go device manager, um, go to ports, and you'll see it'll say Silicon Labs, com, you know, whatever com your computer chooses, so that's easy enough. So that's good. And then th these are the basic settings, look, which what I've used, and they've worked fine. Radio at the top here. The com, The board rate, I went into the radio, just checked. Mine was on 1115, so just have a quick look in your radio. Um, what your board rate is. I selected cat. Some people use vox, but I got cat here. And, I've yeah, same again here. USB codec microphone on the input and speakers. Haven't touched anything else. Now here's the list of, the, of all your settings. So take a note of that. Pause the video and have a good look there. But there are. If you go further down, look. Um, they've taken some very good photographs here. So I'm very pleased about that. Just go through your settings. Hit hit the set button and just gradually add these in connectors. You can see AF42 off open. 50, 52, 50. It's all here. Mic ACC. 
data mod USB and CIV here USB serial with CIV and then you've got off 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 so quite quite simple settings really and I find that once I put them in carefully and um, fired up the program it just connected straight away obviously you need to once you go into the settings as as earlier you need to get them right so um yeah have fun with uh js8 cool thank you very much kn4 crd and all the creators of wsjtx fl digi and ffsq core and and many many others who have worked so hard with all these digi modes seven three again all the best M0 FXB, so yeah, so we've got it up and running, um, not much activity, got the radio connected as you can see, so frequency wise, we can either select a custom frequency, like so, Just see that, you click on the frequency there, at the top custom, and or you can go down and choose one of the standard ones. Now I can hear the sort of digi tone coming through sometimes, but I don't think there's much activity. So choose the one you like. Now to send at the moment, if you go into uh, configuration, no, go here where it says saved, you can click edit save messages. You can add one. I've only added one for now. The good thing about this is that in this position you can see all your settings as well. So I've got my call sign, my IO grid locator, call sign groups, not sure what that is, um, CQ messages which you can change and edit to what you like. There's my radio, 7300, click on none all the way there. Input the microphone, the codec, speaker codec. I've left that on my screen. It seems to be fine like that. That's just the audio is coming from my uh, PC monitor when I listen. Um, and then reporting. I don't think I've changed anything on here. But apparently, if you go for the APRS part of it, you can put in an APRS number somewhere. It's not something I've ever done, so that's something I'm going to have to look into. There's your frequencies. Look at that automatic change bands at certain times of the day. There's my saved messages, notifications. So that's that. Now, if I want to send a message, I can either, if when it's busy names start to populate here that you can click them and then right click right click their actual call sign and you can decide what you're going to send to them but there's no one here at the moment i on 40 so someone came through and the radio cat wise is switching over quite nicely um so but as you can see no activity now uh, you've got it here on the left the cat but there was a bit of activity earlier. Let's try 20. There you go. See it going up there? Now there's a bit more. I can hear that sort of digi noise. A very sort of faint whistle. So let's hope. And it's on the, the radio, as you can see, is on USB D, which apparently is the right one. Would be nice if we had a few populate. Now, if I want to send a message, CQ, you go to your save message and you can, like I said, you can edit this. I've put in CQ, CQ, M0, FXB, calling for a contact. So we'll put that in. It puts it up here in red and then it counts down and sends it. And when you send it, you, you can hear the radio whistling as it sends. Like so. See, there you go, and we can hear, we can hear stations, but nothing coming through. So it gives you an idea, and you've got a log thing here for logging contacts on the right. You can tune it, obviously SWR. Now, if you look, I've got the SWR 
meters and I've got all three meters under the scope there. You can do that on a seven three hundred. So I think that's it for now. Get an idea. Look, apparently you can see that there's a state at the bottom here on the scope. See that bit of activity there? Well apparently you can um you can it's better to move away from so that if you look here, like see the yellow coming down, that's the station transmitting, isn't it? So move away from it so you're not on top of each other. So I could send another call. And it'll count down. I'd like to see it nice and busy, so let me know where I should be listening. I can see the radio's in transmit. There you go, it's in transmit now. Um, would have been nice to have had a few coming in. But anyway, you get the idea. You've got a few menus up here, different modes, the log, the view, control. I'm sure you can change all the colors somewhere. So thanks for watching, and uh, this is JS8 Core. I think it's a very good idea um, using that sort of FT8 type platform to type messages to each other. And I think if it, as it builds, it will be quite good. I wonder if you can link it to Grid Tracker. I bet you can. So seven three, please subscribe if you like my channel. All the best.